There are three different scenarios for penicillin. First, patient takes penicillin, immediately develops rash and hypotension. What's that? This is type 1 hypersensitivity reaction, IgE, mast cell or basophil activation, release of histamine, etc. Second scenario, patient takes penicillin, develops hemolysis and jaundice. What's the diagnosis? This is drug-induced immune hemolytic anemia, type 2 hypersensitivity reaction, Cy2 toxic. Third and last scenario, patient takes penicillin, one to two weeks later develops fever, urticaria or rash, arthralgia or joint pain. What's the diagnosis? This is serum sickness-like reaction. Kind of similar to serum sickness reaction in the symptoms, but quite different. And there are two differences between serum sickness and serum sickness-like reaction. First, serum sickness reaction is a type 3 hypersensitivity reaction, but serum sickness-like reaction has an unknown mechanism till this moment. Also, serum sickness reaction, there are immune complexes there. But in serum sickness-like reaction, no immune complexes are found. All of this is pretty high yield for your exam. Many students don't get that because they see it's kind of difficult, but now you won't.